This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to play around with having ChatGPT's advanced data analysis tool, which used to be called Code Interpreter, build us a fun little web application game around accounting. Not exactly sure what it's going to do or what I even want it to do, but let's just play and see what happens. So let's say, um, build me an interactive accounting game. Uh, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, where I play an accountant doing accounting stuff. And let's see what it does for me. <laughs> so first, oh, that's funny. Interesting. Um, that's the first time it's rejected me totally. I think you can do this. Just write the uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code in Python, then export those files to zip. It's funny because it's done this before. Maybe if I tell it, it can do it. <laughs> there we go. It's like, oh, oh yeah, I can do that. So now it's actually writing the code. So let's actually pop this open and see what it's doing. Um, so sure enough, it's writing the HTML around the game keeping it pretty simple it looks like it's creating some basic styling in a css file and then it's creating the javascript code to make it interactive and then what it should do is output three files for me that i can just download um, using the link that it's going to give me so i'm going to download this file and then i'm going to save it to my desktop and then unzip it and pop it open and see what happens. So let's open the file and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called game. And let's uh, unzip these, extract to the game folder and extract. Okay, great. Now let's uh, let's go check it out. So we got a desktop game and we're going to pop this open and see what happens. <laughs> Play as an accountant and journalize transactions. Transaction. Receive $1,000 from a customer. Oh, okay. So I have to enter debit accounts. There's no accounts to choose from. I just get to pick one. So <laughs> this, is, this is a pretty boring game. Um, debit Oh, it says debit account. Okay, so the debit account is cash money. And I'll call this a thousand. And I'm gonna credit sales. Yo. And then we're gonna credit for a thousand. Let's see what happens. In incorrect, try again. <laughs> Let's try cash and sales. This is really funny. Oh, but that's right. <laughs> so I'm going to say, um, this is really hard. I got it wrong. Let's see what it does. Let's see. Interesting. But this is hard. Um, I thought I guessed correctly. spelling it'll figure out what I'm saying <laughs> I mean I can probably go and see what the correct answer is supposed to be because I think it's probably built into the HTML let's see it is looking for uh, maybe it's in the JavaScript Okay, debit account, cash, credit account, what? Oh, okay, so there's the accounts receivable because I must have already recorded the sale on accounts receivable. That's really funny. I'm gonna actually go back and see what it does if I get it right. So credit account, accounts receivable. <laughs> Correct, well done. That's it, that's the whole game. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, let's see what it says. It says, um, 
have identified an issue with the list. That's not what the issue was. Uh, I'm going to say, actually, the issue was I didn't know you had uh, already recorded accounts receivable. Maybe if you provided the current trial balance, it would be easier to know what the accounts options are and which should be recorded. Please add the trial balance and make it update when the correct entry is recorded and give me three additional entries. Also make something fun happen to celebrate when I get the answer right. <laughs> Let's see what it does. <laughs> yes, it's going to add the trial balance. Very good. And it's going to add three more transactions. And it's going to include a fun celebration when I get an entry right. Excellent. Let's just pop this open and see what it's doing. It's maintaining the debit account, debit amount, credit account, credit amount. Great. It's got a celebration placeholder. Result placeholder, the CSS is the same. Ooh, it's got a trial balance that it's initializing. And it's creating the transactions. I see, it's the text and then the right answer. And creating the functionality to update the trial balance and then going to the next transaction. Okay, cool, looks like it's doing what I said. <laughs> There's the celebration. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Wow. I love it. All right, so let's download this one and then I'm going to replace the file that we had before and try it out. So let's download the file and going to unzip this one again. This is the updated one. Extract into their game folder. And we will overwrite files hopefully that worked yeah sure replace all perfect and i should be able to go back and refresh and we'll see what happens all right cool so um no oh no <laughs> didn't quite do it right so what it should have done is show that it already had an accounts receivable in cash but that's okay so debit account cash and a thousand and credit amount accounts receivable one thousand. Let's see if I get this right. Yes, I got it right. Okay, and of course that's not what it should be, but it's fine. Paid two hundred dollars to a supplier, so we're going to debit expense by two hundred and credit cash by two hundred. And it got it right, yes. <laughs> Build the customer $500 for service. Let's see if they got it right in here. So this should be accounts receivable and sales. Accounts receivable for 500 and sales for 500. Oh no. <laughs> Build five customer, oh man. Let's see what that one's supposed to be. Did I get this one wrong? Do, 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 do. Let's see, third transaction, build customer 500 for service, debit accounts receivable, credit, revenue. Oh, why did I put sales? Yep, I got that wrong. That's hilarious, okay. Woohoo, got it right, okay. And then um, received $300 bill for utilities. Okay, so this should be expense. Of 200 and accounts payable of 200. What? How did I get that wrong? Received $300 bill for utilities. Hmm. <laughs> Expense and accounts payable. Wait a minute. Did I get the number wrong? Oh, yep, I got the number wrong. 300. So um, actually, this is pretty cool. The only thing it messed up was it did not have the um 
initial trial balance initiated correctly. Uh, so that would have made our accounts receivable and cash uh, correct. But uh, the only mistakes were ones I made. So pretty interesting. Um, anyways, it's just another, another fun little example of how you can use the um, advanced data analysis module in ChatGPT to whip up a super quick game that works. It's kind of cool. And this doesn't even use Python. This is just basic and HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So um, lots more fun that we can do with this, but just getting started. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you at the next one.